I just had a quick refresh. We'll take a look at this in a little bit, guys. But um, looks like we're winning about 28 chips per game so far today, which is... Woohoo! 500 bucks! Let's go! Now's the time for the 5X. I immediately recognize this guy on the right, though, so this is not a good situation. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Jack Black Bauer, clear the notification on your face. Sorry, buddy. How's it going? Welcome back, by the way. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you, my friends. It's been a while. Queen of clubs, two of clubs, no thanks. Ace ten of diamonds on the button. This is this is definitely a hand we don't mind getting in. Black Rome, thank you very much. Uh yeah, we gotta defend anything here. Pretty much ATC here. First the min. Ace Queen. We're calling a shove. <laughs> Lettington, how's it going? Don't just clear it. You want me to set a badge? You're killing me. I don't like the ba <laughs> I don't like the badges. I want to like. I don't want. I don't. I don't want people knowing how many. How many. Uh, how many hands I've played. I mean, also, it's it's kind of embarrassing for me because I've like definitely played way more hands than this. But it's just because like, this is the new team pro account, right? So this is embarrassing. I mean, I want my. I want my milli badge. I want my I want my like five million hand badge. My ten million hands. I honestly would love to know how many hands I've played, like lifetime. I'm I'm sure Stars Stars probably has that number somewhere, I guess. I don't know, maybe you guys could look it up for me. I th I've I've played at least a million, I'm sure. I'm sure. We can actually we can look at what I have in my database just for spins, but that's also just for spins, so What's the point of a 22 big blind all in blind versus blind on the stakes? Uh, what happens all the time? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's there are certain hands that call for that. Absolutely. Jay Hone says hello. This is a nice stream. I'm new to poker. Any advice? Don't bet big. Uh, my advice to you as a beginner to the poker sphere. Uh, play the game for enjoyment, play the game to improve, and, like, enjoy the process, you know? Like, um, don't, don't play poker to win, win loads of money, play poker to get better at poker, and then the money follows. Come on now. Come on. 
Let's go for the 500 bucks. That's a pretty, that's a big cooler, honestly. Like, and I, I'm, I'm almost positive this guy's a reg. I think I've played with him before. I've probably got a bunch of, hand actually, I've got 286 hands on him. I just, I just, just looked at the old tracker Uno. So yeah, I've definitely played this guy before. I think it's safe to say that he's probably a reg. Let's start doing, let's get in this habit a little bit more, right? I, I do like doing the, um, do like keeping track properly. Yo, Speed, thank you very much. Thank you for the good lucks. The bigger, the better. <laughs> Yo, Electric Jeans, what's up? Long time no see. All right, we're heads up for 500 US dollars. We're definitely, we're definitely not folding 9, 10 of hearts versus this raise. We're not limping to fold this beautiful, beautiful hand. That's a quick check. I am somewhat surprised by this check. Now, he shouldn't really have that many sixes. And he might have some high cards that he doesn't want to see here. So why don't we go small and then we'll just basically continue most rivers. We'll basically bet any river after this. Nice. I backed into your badges based on... Okay, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, definitely, there's definitely much older accounts than that. So yeah, I probably need more. Thank you though, I appreciate that. Um, there's uh, well, there's 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 one there's one other account before that, and I I haven't, I haven't thought I don't know maybe thinking about that. Don't know how much more there would be on that one. If you want a pretty Sunday million badge, just win the Sunday million. I wouldn't mind that. I'm gonna bet small here, guys. I think there's still value. We can still get called by a three or a four here, no problem. I don't think he's gonna have that much uh, that much for uh, Jack X when he checks turn. That was a very thin value bet, guys. I don't know if you saw that one, but I liked it. I liked it a lot. So far, we're shredding this guy. Feels good. This is the player we didn't really recognize. Not a good turn to continue barreling. In blind view blind, what is the bottom line of a 20 big blind shove? I don't know. It's, it's not that simple. Uh, there's you're going to shove a lot of small pocket pairs that's that's almost always the case that's almost always true um a lot of your uh, most of the other stuff it's it's very it's very unbalanced basically a lot of the sho the pure shoves are just going to be small pocket pairs there might be some super ultra gto like 30 percent frequency jams uh, that i you know that aren't that important The Grafton, indeed. We played the Grafton perfectly. That was it, right? We just turned our hand into a bluff like an absolute genius. Yeah, we have to call. Not really much about much else we can do here. Our opponent so far has been quite willing to bet and slow down, which is always nice because it kind of kind of tells you where you're at in the hand. Um, the Queen is a bit scary, obviously. Bet flop, slow down, three river. So it's going to be a queen or it's going to be nothing, really, I guess. I guess we have to call. I don't really love it, but... Yeah. Um, okay, so 6-5 suited can be a push here. Thus far, not seeing tons and tons of super aggressive play, so I think it's okay for us to just play this slower. Take a flop. Flop a gut shot. Bet the flop. Easy game. Getting check raise here, I don't mind at all. I'm going to call the raise for sure. I think given the fact we didn't push, your opponent's going to kind of try and not put you on the ace. They're going to try and get you off this kind of stuff. We do have a gut shot as backup anyway, but I think we're probably going to get lots of slowdowns on the turn that they're they're going to be happy about. They continue on the diamonds. Obviously, it's even more of a red flag. Yeah. Uh, we pick up a gut shot, so we should actually go ahead and just pump turn big. Um, we'll probably continue on quite a few rivers as well. Really trying to rep that that nine, that straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blinds are going up, so he's down to under 10 big blinds effective. Still a limp with 8-2 suited.
here's a spot that I like. I think we bet the turn big. I think that's how we do it. And then on the river, just check call, I guess. I'm not really concerned about a king or an ace too often here. So I guess we're just going to check and try and get the showdown. He could turn his hand into a bluff once in a while. It's close. Like, if we have the queen of diamonds, it's a different story. Because we can basically take out all of his kings, king x, ace x, based on the preflop action. I think in this particular spot, though, it's better, given the SPR, just to, just to check call to try and catch some bluffs and... I don't know how many... What did he actually turn up here with, by the way? He ended up with... Yeah, he had, he just had a 9, so it's all gravy. But, uh, yeah, interesting one for sure. Pocket 10 is definitely a trap. Oh my god, we're so, oh my god. The thing is, he's just not going to have an ace that often. So I think we want to check and let him barrel off here. On the turn, we should probably just bet one big blind because we can keep the three in. He won't have a king that often, really, but he might have some spades or something, I guess. It's pretty scary. Uh, it's pretty scary. What am I talking about? It's not scary. I'm thinking it's scary for him. But we're obviously going to go for more value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turns up here with King 4. Honestly, I'm expecting King 4 to shove their preflop a lot of the time. So that's interesting. Uh, that's actually probably noteworthy. Definitely noteworthy, in fact. If I had known that he might have any kings in his range, obviously we're just going to go big on the big on the river. This is a little bit too wide. Not sure. King four off. Heads up versus limp at ten effective. GC spin. There we go. Come on, just give me, just give me a beautiful little little trap arena. Now this is just a push for the five hundred bucks. For the five hundred bucks. Five hundred USDs, baby! What a time to play a hundred dollar spin. Let's go! I am not too mad at that, and what a setup as well. I was like, just give me a nice little setup at the end there. Just sevens and aces, no big deal, easy game.